Hi there and welcome to another quick tip. Today we're going to make a time lapse inside of Premiere Pro based on some, uh, some pictures that I've taken in the Netherlands uh, along the highway. So I've got uh, a couple of hundred uh, images over here which I'd like to, uh, to import inside of Premiere Pro um, to make an, uh, a time lapse animation. Um, a couple of things that you need to know. Um, these pictures that I've taken uh, were made with an interval of 3 seconds on my iPhone. So I've chosen this interval option. Um, of course, every uh, scenario will uh, will ask for an, another setting. So when you uh, are photographing, your uh, clouds that are moving very slowly, an interval of 10 seconds should be okay. Um, when they are moving very fast, 3 seconds is okay. People down the street, 2 seconds. Well, these are some basic settings. Of course, it's uh, uh, something like a trial and error to find the, the sweet spot for your project. Um, but in this case, I've made pictures every three seconds on my iPhone, which I'm going to turn into a, a time lapse like this. So what to do? Well, of course, I'm going to start with a new project. So this is my new project and I'm going to import my images, of course. And that's the most important thing, actually, because these are all my images. And when I um, select all of the images and I'm going to import them, they will have a, a default length of five seconds, which is uh, more uh, stop motion animation than a time lapse. So that's not uh, not a good thing to do when I want to turn it into a time lapse. I need to select only the first image and because they are sequential my iPhone shot them with a file name ending with 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. So when the numbers are correct it will import all these images as one movie. So select only the first one, enable the image sequence option and import your video and it will import it as a video. So drag and drop onto the timeline to make a new sequence and that's your time-lapse video so play and because of the fact that it's a video now you can easily uh, use the rate stretch tool to make it a little bit uh, slower or faster if you will so that's no problem at all and of course you can uh, let uh, Premiere Pro loop the animation continuously by going to this uh, settings option and hit loop and now it will continue looping the whole time-lapse video There we go, so that's pretty cool. Another thing that you can do is make use of a mask. So when you uh, find a nice sweet spot, something like uh, something like this. Um, maybe I want to make the decision that I want to pause the right end of the, uh, of the video and let all the other cars on the left hand side uh, well, move on. Um, I can do that with, uh, uh, with an easily I can do that with an effect, so I'm going to make a picture of this, uh, this frame. Drag and drop it on top of the other. Make them the same length. And now I can use the masking option inside of the opacity. So I'm now in the effect controls, opacity, and I can mask out the right hand side of the highway. Something like this. Let's move these outside of there. Adjust this one a bit. Something like this. And now the only uh, and now only the half of the road will move and the rest will stay still. So that's a funny effect as well, which you can use with masking, maybe a little bit making use of the feather and now you've got your time-lapse animation so it's pretty cool uh, another thing that you can do because of the fact that it's pictures and not video these pictures are of uh, a way higher quality than video so maybe this is a 4k image instead of uh, HD so when I'm gonna uh, make a new uh, sequence and let's say I want to uh, make a 1080p video, 25 frames a second. And I'm going to drag and drop my uh, other sequence onto my, uh, my new sequence. And I'm going to keep my existing settings, so HD. 
1080p. I will be zoomed into my uh, time lapse. And now what I can do is animate a panning camera movement in there. So maybe uh, scale it a bit. Something like this. Hit the uh, toggle animation for position. Maybe move it a bit aside. Something like this. Go to the end of this mini timeline. Move it backwards again. And now I've got a time lapse with a panning motion in there. So that's pretty cool. And again, I can let it loop in here as well. So that's the way how you can make a time lapse inside of Premiere Pro with movement and uh, masking out one of the, the highway roads uh, to let them pass. So pretty cool, pretty slick. I hope you like this technique. Uh, thank you for watching and see you again another time in another quick tip. Bye bye.